Good morning, everyone. Vloggy Poncho here. Back with another episode of the vlog. Today is, let's see, Saturday, January 12th. Uh, that's right, isn't it? The 12th? Yes, it's the 12th. Uh, weighing in today at 182 pounds. Going through my checklist here. Today's meals! Uh, I actually, I have a date with Maple tonight. So, we're going to be going to Olive Garden. So, I'm going to have a pretty big dinner. I think my plan is going to be to eat half of it. <laughs> and eat the other half tomorrow for dinner. So, I only drew breakfast and lunch today, and I got, I, I did it before the video, because I already had breakfast. I got veggie omelet and a tofu quesadilla for lunch, or for breakfast and lunch, respectively. So, uh, goal progress. Uh, our current goal is to reorganize the furniture in here today, pretty much, and I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm gonna be doing it by myself, so it's gonna take a while, but I'm gonna put on some music and just kinda shuffle things around. And it'll be, like I say, it'll be done today, I think, but you may not see it until Monday, because tomorrow's video might be, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, now for the main event. I, mail time. Oh, yeah. I got a package, and I'm excited because I know what it is. Uh, so I told you the story of my cell phone and how it got soaked in my gym bag when my water bottle leaked. Uh, and I told this, I, I showed the resuscitation with the rice, the fact that the phone came back. But I had to do a factory reset to try and save this, the, the operating system. And then I lost all my contact information. I had to try and get the people give me their numbers again. And I, I came to realize that day that the battery was ruined. It, it no longer holds a charge properly. It charges to 11% or something like that and then refuses to charge any higher and it, it burns out just as fast as always so uh, the battery was ruined. Uh, so the phone was able to recover but now it's on life support plugged into the wall over here for the past three days because well, as soon as I take it off it starts using up its power and it doesn't recharge anymore so like I can say it's been on life support. It's, it's power steadily ticking down over the past few days. But, I got a package, so let's open her up. Yeah, I got the Kyocera Rise, so we'll see if... Here we go. <laughs> it opens. It's like... <laughs> hey, look, it's a new cell phone. Awesome. Alright, let's get this sucker out of here. I want to boot her up. This is what always happens to me with tear here strips. Just rip, rip right off. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Both directions. Just tear. The perforations aren't perforated enough. Oh, this is neat. It says, "Keep it clean. Please recycle this package." I don't know why they say keep it clean and, and not keep the planet. I don't know. Seems a weird phrase to use there. Alrighty then. Like, thank you for purchasing the Kyocera hand! Oh my god! Alrighty. Oh, it says open up here. Surely there's a nice, convenient... Yeah, you see that? It says open. Surely there's a nice, convenient way to open this ridiculous package... Packaging. Plastic. Ooh! Hey, look at that. Comes right out. Alrighty. Hmm, the keyboard's different. The screen is bigger, too. Neat. Ooh. What, is this a real number? Yeah, that's really funny. So the back the back of it says, uh, I don't know if you can read that. For a good time, call Sir Richard. And it has the phone number. I can only assume that that means Sir Richard Branson, the guy who owns Virgin Mobile, who is probably the coolest man alive. The most interesting man in the world, for sure. Like, I don't know why Dos Equis thought that they had to hire an actor to pretend to be the most interesting man in the world, when Richard Branson is clearly the most interesting man in the world. I mean, come on. Just go, go look at his Wikipedia page. I'll put a link in the description. Alright, so... Here comes with the instructions. Trying to get me to buy insurance. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's a phone recycling bag. That's cool. I'm not going to recycle it. I'm going to keep it in case this one breaks and I have to revert or something like that. Oh, look, it's a battery. A battery that actually charges. 
And a charger. That's nice. Probably need one of those for this. All right. Well, it looks like all the pieces are here. Is the SIM card already in the phone? All right, I got the battery in and charging, so I'm going to try and figure out what I'm supposed to do to do the activation now. Okay, so now I'm at the website, the Virgin Mobile website, and i got to put in this really long serial number. They're up in the cost of my plan, man. Getting the same thing for 10 bucks more. It's BS. That's how they get you, man. <laughs> oh, this is great. Okay, so it says, before you can use your phone, it needs to be programmed. That's just tech speak for syncing up with our network. What not syncing up with our network much more technical than just saying it needs to be programmed? What? To start the automatic programming process, turn your phone on. Rise. What? I hope it doesn't do that every time it turns on. It's annoying. Hi, to get started, blah, 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 blah. Okay, now, now everything has switched to my phone. Before you can start making calls, we need to sync up your phone with our network. All right. Gosh, that's so technical. Why couldn't they just say program? Oh, God. The read me is like a mile long. Uh, I, yeah, I, I agree. I don't even know what that said, but I agree. Is that it? I went back to my home screen. Did I? Wait, is, it, is that it? Is it activated already? Alright, that's it. Alright, I'm officially gonna make it mine. I'm taking the... Oh, I'm taking the screen cover off. Because it feels like... It's sort of not, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like a screen. It's sort of dry. Alright, well, there's my new phone. Cool. I have to start putting contact information and stuff in there later. Oh, so now the question is, what do I do with this old phone? The dead phone. You know, this phone still has the screen cover on it. I guess I should, I could peel that off if I wanted. I won't. I'll leave it. I'll leave it in mint condition for someone else. Or just, or just to sit in my desk forever. Yeah, this is definitely a step up, though, in terms of how, how good of a phone I have. Like... They're about the same size, but this is the new one, and it's got a bigger screen. So the, the plan now costs $10 more because it's bullshit, but the screen is just a little bit bigger. Uh, it's actually fairly similar, but just that much that much more length on the screen without having to make the phone any longer is kind of nice. And it seems like a more efficient use of space. The phone's a little bit sleeker. It's about the same thickness, maybe a teeny bit thicker? If so, only only very slightly. To so compare the keyboards, so this is an LG Optimus Slide, and this is a Kyocera Rise. So the keyboards are, look totally different. So this is the new one here. It's got like sort of square keys, it looks like, and they're spread out more. So, well, it's, well actually this isn't a square keys. These are kind of a wing-shaped all the buttons are in the same place, though, pretty much. Actually, that's not true at all. I'm going to have to relearn the keyboard here. I, I don't get why on a QWERTY keyboard on the on my computer, there's this rule for where the keys go and, and for what characters are next to what. But on phones, they just do whatever the hell they want. <laughs> it's really weird. Oh, good. They got rid of those useless buttons that were down here. There was a button on this phone. I don't know if you can see it. It's right there next to my finger button on this phone that just for smiley faces. You push that and a bunch of smiley faces would pop up and you could pick one. I never used it. And then it's gone on this phone, so thank goodness. This phone also had a button that did nothing except type dot com. It's a dot com key. Like you have an A key, you push it and it puts an A in. Push this key, it puts in dot com. <laughs> who, who types so many web addresses that they have to have a dot com key on the keyboard? And that's weird. Uh. Honestly, most of the time, I don't even finish typing the address before Google guesses what I want. I just hit enter. So that those buttons are both gone, which is kind of nice. 
So really that's all I can really say about this phone at this point because I haven't gotten to use it at all yet, but the screen is nice and I gotta get to work on customizing it and making it my own. I wonder what apps it comes with. Oh, hello. It's still trying to tutorialize me. I have apps and widgets. What you what you what you woo? Cool beans. Well, I think that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.